Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm just trying to do a quick video. I want to let you guys know that not only am I in my grandma swag right now, but I wanted to talk about state exams. I know that in a lot of states, it's a requirement for your child to do the state exam and pass. Um, from my understanding, the state exam is really just to measure the teacher and how well the curriculum and um, plan the, the teacher is using, it's, it's going for them. Or if the next year the teacher will have to adjust her curriculum according to what more she needs to teach. Like if the kids will need more um, teaching on social sciences or English and like that. So, of course, it looks bad, I think, on a teacher if you have a lot of students who are not taking the exam, are opt out, or um, fail the exam. And so what a lot of schools are doing is sending letter homes for the parents to sign to allow the kid to retake the exam, which is great if your child wants to pass, you know, or whatever the case may be, like they get a second try. But if it's really not necessary, why put these kids through the struggle? And so this year, I really realized how much the school and the teachers are putting a stress on the children about these state exams. Oh, you know, you don't forget you got to review it. Don't forget to study. Don't forget you got to sleep. You got to eat. You got to do that. Da, 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 da. And so, you know, <clears throat> as far as I know, it's not required for them to take it in elementary school. You can opt out your child. It is only required when your child is trying to enroll or have the advanced high school diploma. And so if they're not trying to do any advanced, which at this point is only beneficial for any college students that's trying to go into college. If your child does not want to go to college and has plans to go into the military, I'm not sure how much that will be helpful. So don't quote me on that. I'm just sharing what I found out from my research on my state online. And so I'm assuming they're very similar, but every state have their own websites and their own guidance as to how and when and why and if you could opt out. So you can opt out your child in elementary school and middle school. However, maybe in eighth grade is when it starts counting towards high school credits for you to be able to graduate. If your child is not gonna be doing an advanced diploma, I changed mine when I was younger from my advanced to standard just because I didn't wanna be in the school anymore. So my last year, I would go in for like two hours and leave, go to work and did my business. I did not want to be there with them teachers or anything and I have my own reasons for it, which that's a thing for another video. But I wanna encourage you to like really look into your state, your state websites, what requirements they have for um, your state exams. If it really is a requirement um, or not, as far as graduation, what kind of diploma they need to have or not. So it goes more into detail that the school is not gonna tell you what I'm telling you because they want to make sure that your child is taking their state exams for the benefit of the teachers and the benefit of the school. Now, I'm not sure if there's any particular grant that the school gets for that um, or not. And so as far as that goes, uh, that's something you're gonna have to have a conversation with. But I did talk to one of my kids' principals and he reassured me that although it's not mandated for them to take it, we parents can opt our child to not take the state exams. However, it's not something they're freely going to go saying around because they don't want to promote it. Why they don't want to promote it, he wouldn't say. But I am so close to opting my child out um, from taking those state exams because of the amount of stress they put on a child. And I've seen it this year. I've decided that I'm not going to sign that paper for them to retake it. If they're going to go through the stress once, let that be it. And if they don't pass, oh, well, they don't pass. They cannot be held behind. They will pass grade. It gets really serious more so in high school. So you have to be very careful. But by the time the kids are in high school, they should know that that is an expectation. I took all my state exams. I can't remember if I passed them or not. Honestly, I didn't even know what my score was. Maybe I didn't care enough. I don't know. You know, why Why have a state exam every single year on four different subjects? Like we're joining the military. It's not an ASVAP test. This is not like a registered nurse test that you have to take every so often to pass. What are the children getting on this? The only thing I see my kids get is stress for getting ready to take this stuff. So anyways, it was a quick video. Um, look into it. 
do it whatever benefits your child however you feel just don't know don't feel that you're obligated for them to take it that's it homeschool kids they don't have to take a state exam as far as i know all they have to do is at the end of all that they have to do is take a ged so it doesn't make any difference there's so many people that drop out of school there's so, and i'm not encouraging this but there's so many children that drop out of school get a ged later on and they're just fine i know somebody um that actually was a dropout got a gd and it's making more money than me or someone else that i know that actually has a career and a profession and has gone to school and college so that doesn't determine who you are and how much money you make anyways bye thanks for watching